Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a remake of a video that I've been wanting to remake for a while. It's a, a leggings video that I had when I first started my channel. It's really dark in that video. I mean you can tell what's going on but I just wanted to update that video and give you something fresh and new with better lighting and a better setup. So what we're going to need is some paper. I got this packing paper from the Dollar Tree. Um, I use it a lot when I'm making patterns because it's cheap and you can get as many as you need to make patterns with. So we're going to be using this. I am actually going to be using this blue jean fabric I got from Joann's. It has like gold polka dots on it and I'm going to be using a pair of my daughter's leggings for the template so I can make the pattern so when I need to make more leggings for her I already have the pattern made I'm going to be using my serger today you can use a regular sewing machine in the first video I used a regular sewing machine so this is going to be all the talking in this video because it's really loud in my basement so I'm just going to be showing you guys what to do but before we get into the video make sure you are subscribed to this channel also make sure you like this video if you want to follow me on social media all of that is linked in the description as well as the link to my blog channel movie review channel and my husband's podcast channel so let's get into the video for my pattern is to go up in the waist and to go down a little bit further on the leg as well as give a little bit more space when tracing the outline because if I'm especially if I'm using a fabric that doesn't have a stretch I want to give myself seam allowance and a little bit more room for comfortability so now you just cut out your pattern and then cut on the fold for your fabric instead of making leggings because this fabric wasn't long enough I'm gonna make sort of capris so as you can see I left some space here at the top for the waistband and then this fabric actually has frayed edges so I'm gonna leave that like that to add just a little bit of style so I use these clips I got them from Dollar Tree. I use these when I'm trying to lay my fabric down to cut just because it's a little bit easier. And then I go ahead and pin on the opposite side. So you're going to do this for the front and the back of the leggings. You're just going to cut the fabric. Make sure you're cutting on the fold and on the wrong side of the fabric. have this sewn up to the butt part it's sewn up to the waist to the butt part this part is open so now you're going to flip it out still having the pieces on the wrong side then you're going to sew pin and sew each leg up to the butt
everything is sewn. Now it's time to work on the waist. Okay, so as you can see, I folded down the waist and I surged the edges so that it doesn't fray. But I'm going to leave an opening so that when I put the elastic in, I can just weed it through the casing. So I'm just going to go around and do, I'm actually going to just do a straight stitch using my regular sewing machine this time and just stitch all the way around with this opening left. Alright, so now we're on to the final step, which is getting ready to put the elastic in. And we're going to do just like we did for last week's tutorial by using the safety pin method to weed it through. I have my trusty safety pin here. And I'm using another knit elastic. And so as you can see, I left this open. So I can just go ahead and put this through. Okay, so that was quick and easy. We're going to do like we did before and just sew the elastic pieces together. So you can just stitch across. I'm going to use a zigzag stitch um, because I think it just secures it a little bit better. Okay guys, so here are our leggings. They are a little bit bigger than my daughter's legs in the leg area. But that's okay. And I think the waist may be just slightly a little bit smaller. But she is she does have a really small waist. Like I said before, the serger. I, it was a really great purchase. I'm glad I got it because it makes everything look a little bit more professional. I do have this specific serger that I use in my Amazon shop so you can check that out. The link is below. This fabric I got from Joann's Fabrics but I'm pretty sure you can find it online or anywhere. It's really cute denim. It doesn't have a lot of stretch but it's still really good and I really like the outcome. So if you have any questions about today's video make sure you leave them in the comments. Also if there's anything that you would like to see me sew or make or anything like that as far as like DIYs or anything also let me know in the comments. Make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Also make sure you like this video. If you would like to check out my vlog channel, that is linked in the description as well as the links to my movie review channel and Greg's podcast channel. All my social media is linked below. And until next time, bye!